And then you know whatever doesn't go, we just bring here for like the production. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, I'll let it go for a little bit longer. Excuse me. How much do you have on the dishwasher? Under currently. What animal is this? Deer. Deer. It's like a like a like a rug kind of thing. Nah, I think it's just skin the deer and uh. you know you hang it up on your wall. I guess I I don't know, man. They don't only see that stuff in Florida. <laughs> That's more of a north thing, right? <laughs> I'm from I'm from um, Philly, and there I found like a raccoon one like this. <laughs> a skin like a skin that raccoon, raccoon. Oh, yeah. No shit. It was like what the heck? You never yeah, see weird. that. That's 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 different. <laughs> it's, uh, interesting stuff here. Yeah, wide gap. We had we sold a lot today yeah. earlier, so we're kind of getting down to the nitty gritty. It's Lucky. good. It's good news for you guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's less to pack. Are you guys moving? Yeah. No, nah, yeah. this is just stuff we've accumulated. Uh, my buddy lives in the house, so he's got stuff too. So. Gotcha. How much are your knives? Uh, they're ten dollars for the set. Ten for all four. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got the top to it on below it. Yeah. What about the Native American ones? There? They're five each. Yeah. You know, something about the, those balls, those uh, yeah. American Indian balls. Yeah, but what's the, what game? What's the game that was played? It's like you lose, like the Aztecs, you get killed. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're for, man. It's just I Googled them, and they said that's what they were. It's like, wow, that's pretty cool, because she had all that Indian stuff, you know? So it, it makes sense to me. Did you throw in this one for 10 as well? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Very cool. You said these were five each? Yes. I'll take them as well. What about your dolls down there? That's his world. Uh, 24. What's up? The cabbage? Oh, just about three bucks a piece that's because they condition yeah but three bucks i'll take that it. one i'll do two on the real messed up one yeah five bucks. Uh, this somebody's or yeah can i have that place yeah, that's some guy thanks <laughs> um, you honey, don't turn around and How much is the coin? It's ten bucks. Ten bucks. Gold, yeah. That's cool. It's not solid gold, but it's if you can look online, it's. No, it's just super cool. I don't see many Lion King uh, to Lion King. Uh, yeah, they they coins. got them online for more than more than that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I I don't collect coins, so. Yeah. Me neither, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm thinking I want to start with a Lion King one. I think. <laughs> So I owe you 20 here, right? 20 there, yeah. Then I owe him five. Yeah, 25. I got your 20. All right, cool, thanks. I'm gonna need change from him though. I don't have any small bills. Well, it's going in this bag anyway. So. Okay. What do you got there? 20 okay, again. I owe you 15. Yep. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining another garage sale adventure. We have a really, really fun video for you guys today. Uh, this first sale of the video isn't my first sale of the day. This is actually pretty late in the day, already close to 12 p.m., which is like closing time here um, at the garage sales in Florida because it gets pretty hot after uh, 12. So usually most of the people close around 12 o'clock for the day. So we get here almost at the end, but we still find some fun stuff to flip. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, nothing too crazy, no crazy bangers here, but stuff that pays uh, the bills. I paid $25 total uh, for everything. Uh, the two Native American knives I bought for five bucks each. They sold my one-night auctions for around $25, so I was pretty happy with that flip. The Dale Earnhardt Jr. knife did not do as good. This one for about $5 each. There was five knives there, so that I turned that 10 into 25. 
Not the greatest profit, but it all sold as well. And the Cabbage Patch Kids in their condition, the tobaccos they're in, they're worth about $20, $25 as well. I paid $5 for those. I dropped $25 total on everything. Everything already sold, about $125 in sales. So not too shabby for one of the last yard sales of the day. Yeah. Good morning. The reason why I say I'm shocked is because usually Taylor made drivers do really good and the comps here were $60, $7 with free shipping. And these things usually take about 15 bucks to ship so you do the math there, that's about $45 in my pocket and then we're asking 20 bucks on the driver. Usually the, the, Taylor, the Taylor mates that I find are in this shape they sell for about 150 so I was kind of shocked that they were, this one was so low so for 20 bucks I was not going to take it up, I had to leave it behind. Uh, You're trying to find a lefty. Yeah, I'm a lefty. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, God made me that way. <laughs> That's a really good deal. $20. Yeah. 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 yeah, I had some other golf stuff, and I think all my golf stuff yeah. is gone. I had an old set of clubs. I had a, oh my, I got a couple of an old persimmon. These are more collectible. Yeah, those are cool looking. Yeah. How much points for a dog? Uh, that's the only it. thing. <laughs> that's the only thing not for sale. The only thing not for sale? Yeah. Priceless. She's priceless? It's really cool. Yeah. I wore that to the inaugural game. Oh, really? The first wow. Game. First game. Yeah, we were uh, season ticket holders for about the first 10 seasons. Oh, I'm and sorry. I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, huh? Oh, it's a, yeah. lot of, a lot of losses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, then yeah. they finally became good, and you weren't season ticket You weren't holders anymore. <laughs> We got older, and it's like, oh, you know. Even give the well, yeah, uh, it. but eighty-one games a year on a on a full season package. Yeah. With just a, a big commitment of time. For sure. We go. To, we, we still go to some games. And we we go to spring training. In fact, I got a lot of Ray stuff here. That I'll they, see that. Yeah. A lot. Most of the Ray stuff is is gone. But What's not gone is covered with this pollen stuff or whatever, but uh, yeah. a lot of games. We went down last week to Fort Myer to watch him play the Red Sox. Down oh, at that nice. Next week we're going over to see him play the Phillies over here. And in Clearwater, yeah. yeah so. How's it going? Yeah, we I owe somebody two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know the routine. That's how it works. <laughs> Dude, this, this is a rental for you, right? Okay, there you go. <laughs> don't, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Thank you.
I thought the shirt was cool right away. I was really happy to spend two dollars on it. But then when I heard a story about him wearing it the inaugural season of the Rays, I liked it even more. Um, it's Logo Athletic, which is really good for vintage clothing. Logo Athletic sells really well for vintage, um, vintage sports clothing especially. So I'm gonna sell this shirt for about forty bucks on eBay. Two into forty, I'm very happy with that. How you doing today? Good morning. Look brand new. <laughs> like it just came out. Just printed yesterday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're too cool. I'll take all of them. Oh, wow, this is for fencing too. Is that what? Yeah, fencing swords. Yeah. Can't say I have never seen those yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not many yards to sell fencing swords, I'll tell you that. Is something you did? Or? It's uh, something I did years ago, like when I was in high school. Yeah. High school? So like five years ago for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> five plus. Five, <laughs> five of shipping and handling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was... Um, That's cool. Satelli. I went to a Catholic school. It was kind of odd that they had... Fencing? <laughs> they had fencing in yeah. as a sport, but... But it was kind of cool. But, yeah. you know, I mean, I used to get to the point where I thought they were cool and hung them on my walls. And, oh, of and course. I, was, so it was I mean, just, I, I, don't, I don't blame you. Yeah. My favorite store. Take yes. that, too. Good old Wawa. Uh, I moved here from Philly, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have Wawa relapse. But you guys have them down here, yeah. so there's no They're relapse. You got a lot of stuff I like, sir. Good. Taking this as well. For all of them. Oh, really? What's the point of looking then, right? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, if you buy one, you have to take them all. <laughs> What's the point of looking? If it's a dollar for all of them, yeah, I'm just not gonna, exactly. I'm just gonna even waste my time. <laughs> I'm gonna take all your bags. <laughs> I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> you know, there's always more. Always more bags. them so oh gotcha yeah but there's it's a, a whole set with the bread and the slicer yeah. and the the molino the sotoku knife right there yes. yeah. and carrying knife hey can you um somebody's trying to get by oh. can you just pull into a spot right Not there no problem thanks let's see this That was my childhood lamp. Yeah? I got that as a baby. <laughs> when you were a baby, yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I remember that from all times. I don't yeah. know why. So, but the cord is very old. I would rewire it yeah. if I was <laughs> going to actually use it. Yeah. 
Uh, so what are we up to here? 16. 16. Yes. Would you do 20 on the swords? I would. So 36. Over 36. If you have a five, I just give you a one, so it'll be easier for you. Sure. I don't take all your ones. Fine. All right. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you much. It's the coolest Thank thing you. I found all day. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, right, ladies and gents, we are back in, uh, we call this room the whatnot room. This is a room in my house dedicated for one purpose and one purpose only, uh, my whatnot streaming shows. We just had a whatnot show here today. I was part of a Mother's Day raid train. I uh, did really good for 30 minutes with about $300 worth of stuff, so very happy with how that turned out. Um, I'm recording this on Thursday evening. Usually, like I said, I do my videos in the morning before that comes out, but tomorrow is yard sale day, Friday's yard sale day, so I will not be able to record in the morning so we're finishing the video today. Um, that last yard sale was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. A lot of good stuff. Um, those vintage antique books are for about 20 bucks a pop. Uh, a dollar for all of those are really good. Uh, that set of four plates, I think I'm gonna sell them at Whatnot Show. They're right there. Um, I'm probably gonna sell them in a future show. I paid a buck for all four plates. I don't know what I'll get for them. I'm guessing probably 20 bucks for all four as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, before we get to the, the home runs, um, the Wawa pillow is also really nice. Whatnot filler. Uh, I think I sold for like eight or nine bucks. I paid a buck for it. Um, you know, it's, it's not like crazy money, but it's it's fun money and, it's, and it happens really fast. Um, those DVDs also the same thing. Uh, are pretty much filler as well. The two great things in there, two great things in, in that purchase was the Olympus camera and the fencing swords. The fencing swords I have never seen before in my life. First time I've ever seen those fencing swords. First time I've ever seen fencing swords at a, at a garage sale. You guys watch, you guys go to garage sales. How often do you guys see fencing swords or testing? What are they called? It's not a sword, right? There's a, there's a, there's a bougie word for it. OPs? Probably butchering that. OPs? OPs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, those, how often do you guys, you guys that watch me, have you guys ever seen that at a garage sale? Um, I've been doing this for five years. First time I've seen that. And then, Again, it's all about the stories in this video. It's about it's all it's all about the stories and just learning about about happening. Like, like the guy with the, with the Devil Rays um, shirt, like he wore it to the first season. And there's, there's there's so much cool stories with these items. I, I love it. This guy used them in high school and he's retired. Just think about how old the swords are. That he used them in high school and he's retired. So they have to be at least 50 years old, uh, probably older than that because they probably weren't new when he used them. So just the whole story about that, I didn't. I went into research, figured them out, figure out about the brand. It did say made in France on them. All of that brought me to this listing right here on the wharf point. Something that was somewhere that I have, which is two vintage fencing swords, uh, Centelli, uh, made in France, sold for $165. That is what I'm listing mine right now as well. $165 for the pair. So that is a good buy, 20 into that. But that's not the best buy of the night. The best buy of the night was this Olympus camera. Olympus, guys, ready to know, Olympus is a really good brand when it comes to cameras. I buy them all the time. I sell them all the time for at least $150 to $200. I was very happy to $10, pay $10 for this. This was a special one. It's not just a regular Infinity Stylus. This was a Deluxe. This is a Deluxe. And if you guys see the soul comps on a Deluxe, you'll see a $450 soul comp right here. A $350, a $350, a $380, a $350. A 350, a 348, a 348, a 345, a 324, and so on and so forth. This is at least a $300 camera, and I paid 10 bucks for it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I was like blown away by this as well because when I picked it up, I thought it was just a regular stylus. I'm like, okay, cool, 10 into 150. And like, heck yeah, we do it all day. But 10 into 300, 10 into potentially more. Yeah, we take that, we definitely take that. So I'm very, very happy with that purchase uh, as well. So really fun sale, got to learn some stories, got to hear about the man's past and uh, make money, you know, so great. <laughs>
Absolutely great. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, videos. Hope you guys are gonna have a great weekend. Uh, speaking of weekends, guys, coming up again, my mega show, my mega show, the scariest show of my life. I'm very terrified. Let me be honest with you guys about what I'm about to uh, 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 undergo. I'm already preparing. All this stuff is going for it. I have all this stuff over here going for it. That stuff on my tables all going for it. I'm already preparing for the biggest show of my life and whatnot on my birthday, April 22nd, on Monday. I hope to see all of you guys there. I am doing my mega show where I am not ending the stream until I sell a thousand individual items. That show might take me 24 hours to accomplish. But I'm not ending, I might be live for 24 hours straight on the whatnot selling you guys stuff. And I'm starting things at five bucks or less. And I can't end the show until I sell a thousand individual items. So if you guys wanna, don't wanna miss that, Monday, April 22nd, find my show, bookmark my show, be there, it's gonna be epic. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be the craziest, scariest, most exciting thing I'm gonna do. Um, can't wait to spend my birthday with you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. Until then, here's my dog, Sasha. Peace out. Subscribe to Billy Bubber.